Hello and happy Thursday. I'm so excited to work with you guys um, on this Lady Death cover colors. And so it's still probably about maybe let's say 10% done. Um, and the uh, a lot of it is still in flats, but I will be working on it with you guys today. Huge shout out and thank you to Coffin Comics for allowing me permission to live stream the process. And this piece is scheduled for uh, Sworn Fest in 2022. So um, this is going to be, as far as I know, an exclusive for that convention that Coffin Comics is hosting. So. Um, that's where you'll be able to get this book. Right now I'm working on the Naughty Patch. She doesn't have any nips showing because I can't show them to you, so I didn't draw them in. I'll do them afterwards. Um, but I'm really looking forward to hanging out with you guys here. Thank you for joining and we will just keep working through the color and figure it out as we go. <laughs> Edson, Jeff, Alberto, Melikiana, Bo, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining and for your kind words. You are awesome. I really appreciate you hanging out with me here on the live stream. So uh, to start out, like usual, I, am, I inked and drew this piece on paper. It's how I draw. I'm not particularly great with digital art. Um, and then I am coloring it on the computer. So I scanned it into the computer. Um, I outsource my flats, which is the color preparation. I explained that last time. So if you want to check my previous live stream, you can see what flats are. Um, and then I am working on a Cintiq 22 HD. It is a Wacom monitor that you can actually draw and paint on. Why is it? Ah. I'm on my wires. Sorry, I'm gonna have to disappear for a second. There we go, okay, we're fixed. So it's on an easel like this, so I can uh, place it in a way that's A, easier for me to draw on, a little bit more ergonomic, and also is not in the way. And then I have a stylus pen that I can draw directly onto the monitor, and I use a wireless keyboard. So, now that we have all of that out of the way, Welcome, and there's more people to say hi to. Tom, hello, what are you doing on Facebook? <laughs> Rob, Keeman, Mr. E, C2, Raijin, Van Helsing, thank you so much for stopping in to say hi, Melikiana. It's so great to have you all here. Thank you for joining in on the live stream. I have a post-it note here that I, so that I don't forget, there's something special that JP Roth made for the Twitch crew. So as she promised on the previous live stream, that has now been worked out. And I have it here. So she prepared the whole uh, thing for you guys, a special book that's just, um, it, we worked on it this morning so that you guys would uh, see what it is and all of that. <laughs> Tom's on Twitch now. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Philip, hello. Anthony Keller, hi. Welcome to the stream. I believe she referred to us as special Twitchers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she sure did. So I'm going to load Twitch so that I can type in the special coupon for you guys and there's a link to the book so i actually got all organized and shit and i made a mubot command for it so i'll type in that command right now i'm just loading twitch it's gonna take a second okay div twitch there we go so use the coupon for you in Twitch. And the link is right there. <laughs> All right, and just so everybody knows, uh, JP Roth and I did our very best. I followed a tutorial to try to do a mock-up of what a hollow foil piece of paper looks like and how it will look on the book. Um, <laughs> yes, 
So we we tried to do a you know rough digital um, example of how the the cover is going to look in hollow foil or chrome, depending on everybody calls it something different. But just so you know, this is what the paper is. So this was a sample sheet that I got from our printer. Um, so you can see, right? It goes all kind of <laughs> shiny and rainbow colored and all of that. So we tried to do a little bit of a mock-up to show you what that looks like, but it's not like we're actually changing the cover. It's just gonna be printed on this paper. And we have never done a um, that piece on hollow foil paper. Joe and I haven't done any hollow foil, I don't think, for Divinica up until now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that that is the case. So anyone on Facebook, if you are wanting this very special coupon for 50% off of a limited 50 book, you need to jump over to Twitch and get the coupon over there. It all worked properly, yay! <laughs> So anyway, that is a very special coupon for Twitch followers made by JP Roth. Just so you guys know, we, uh, we is a very generous term. JP Roth has been working with PayPal this morning to try to fix up everything that we had some glitches yesterday. We found out the reason why is because we have the, the Egyptian goddess Isis and we flagged something hardcore. So um, we're, we are working on it. Uh, you need to type in, oh, thank you, Mr. E. So this coupon, along with all of the Divinica launch sale stuff is ending next week on Wednesday. So I'm gonna leave this Twitch command on there for you guys until Wednesday next week. So I guess through Wednesday. Um, by the Thursday live stream in a week from today, that coupon is going to be expired and someone please remind me um, to turn it off. <laughs> we did flag something hardcore. Carmen, hello. Okay. And I, as usual, forgot the coupon. Well, damn it, Rob. <laughs> All right, so please, like usual, you know, don't judge me, everybody, on where I'm at with this piece. You know, in my opinion, um, the digital coloring doesn't come together and actually start looking good, for me, anyway, um, until the last about half an hour, two hours. Up until that point, I am questioning my life as an artist. So that's where I am at right now, but we'll get there. <laughs> at least I have enough digital color covers under my belt to know that it generally works out in the end. <laughs> what book is it for? Okay, uh, Carmen, let me, uh, let's get the, Thing so you can see the link. So the link takes you straight to that particular book. Div Twitch is the command. So that book we made this morning for Twitch people. It's limited 50 and um, it's on hollow foil paper. At least the printer calls it hollow foil paper. What does everyone else call it? Do you guys call it hollow foil or do you call it chrome? Ordered. So, oh, thank you, Jeff. Is it hollow foil or chrome? Help. <laughs> so we called it chrome slash hollow foil on the thing. But anyway, just so you guys know, the the filter thing that we put on, I just made that this morning. You know, Joe found me a tutorial. I went through the tutorial and made that faux hollow foil look. It's not like we're printing it exactly like that. You're gonna get it on this paper. It's just to help differentiate so people get it a little bit visually, but bear in mind that it's, you know, it's gonna be the way other comic books are where it's just printed on this paper. You call it hollow foil. Yeah, potato, potato. <laughs> Corvus says chrome, yes. 
So it really, it depends on the, the publisher. Okay, Coffin calls it hollow foil. Yeah, I mean, right here, the printer, when they sent me all the, the paper samples, it says hollow foil right on it. But then some people call it chrome, so we just put both in there so that you guys would know. <laughs> Any Chromebooks I've bought look the same. Yeah, so it's the same paper. We're probably, most of us are printing with the same printer. <laughs> so, yeah. You call it Shinies? Oh, that would have been a great coupon code. We were trying to come up with a good coupon code, and so we asked Dan to help us, and he's like, that's a you problem. <laughs> we're like, God damn it, Dan. <laughs> All right, I'm going back to Photoshop now, if I can maybe try not to be lost in my own computer. I'm still lost in my own computer. Anyway, Jeff, thank you so much for ordering one. You're amazing. We're so grateful for the support. Coupon code. <laughs> anyway, that book is on 50% off until Wednesday next week, through Wednesday next week. We will be turning off the coupon codes, or maybe they're on a timer. I honestly don't know. <laughs> so if you ever want to remind yourselves or remind others, you can just put in the div twitch um, command and Moobot will take care of the rest for you. If not, I also have my post-it reminder so that I can make sure you guys know about it. All right, so right now I am working on the color holds because literally I can't stand all these dark lines. I feel like when you've got, I don't know, I just really like color holds like you guys know. It's a little less harsh. And in some places, I'll probably go in and darken some of the color holds so that they show up a little bit more, like kind of in where there's shadow around her neck or on her chin. I may darken it up a little bit, but for now, um, we're just doing this and getting this done. And I haven't decided what color I'm going to do her... Um, stones like I'm thinking maybe to go ruby on this one so this can kind of be like the ruby jewel cover and this is the the naughty version so it you know a little bit more of a romantic color scheme would work I think so I'm, I'm leaning towards going more ruby but we'll see hello Leroy welcome to the stream And right now I'm not worrying too much about, you know, the color holds for her outfit. As you can see, her outfit is not colored. I am actually doing the skin all as one, um, please tell me I'm on the right layer, yes. I'm, I'm coloring the skin as a whole first, and then I'm gonna save myself out a copy so that I can use the skin for the alternate version. So painting in the clothes on the same layer is not something I do right now. Um, I need that I need that skin <laughs> with, with no clothes on it first. And then I can um, add the clothes in afterwards. <laughs> Thank you, John. Oh, yay. Thank you, What the Fan Art. I've been going back and forth on the lips. Uh, red lips really scare me, not gonna lie. I find them quite intimidating. <laughs> also, I'm aware as someone who has worn red lipstick before that that shit is not comfortable.
And then, you know, I still want to give her some really kapow makeup. The, um, the highlights from the, uh, you know, like the rim light from the candles is not final. I'm going to redo that. John, hello. Welcome to the stream today. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Jeff and Juan have one of the books. Whoop, whoop, 48 left to go. Jim Sanders, thank you. Welcome to the stream. Rob got his first. Oh, you got yours even before the coupon went into effect. Oh no. <laughs> Rob, I'm sorry. Did you like get it this morning or something before we went live? So nice of you, Anthony. Oh, I'm still struggling with that too, what the fan art, they're not, boobs are really not easy to color, like at all. They, um, they have a weird, they catch light very weirdly. So I would not say that I'm fully comfortable with them yet, nor do I really do them right. Oh, you bought it so fast. I didn't read the part about the coupon code. Aw. Okay, so there's some places I will need to darken the lines. So let's start working on getting some darker lines going on. Maybe not quite that dark. No. Okay, and I'm gonna re-add in her chin line so that her face doesn't kind of merge into her into her neck. That might look a little weird. Oh, John Overbay. Um what book? We There is a special book for Twitch people in our Divinica launch sale. So I will um, put that in here again. Div Twitch. No Div. Oh, someone else did it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm doing some of the lines that are in the back or that I think would be more in shadow. I'm giving those a darker a darker color hold. But they're kind of just, you know, in little spots where I think that they're needed.
Oh, thank you, Mr. E. Thank you, Alberto. Nice, Paul. I'm happy about that. Yay. Leroy, you're so kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> it sure will, Rob. Your support means so much, you guys. It's seriously going to help us be able to keep working on Divinica, make Divinica even more special, all of those things. It's a very good cause. Thank you so much. You know what, Paul? That is kind of not my department, so I, I honestly don't know. Some people were saying, though, that even if it is a um, exclusive, some companies do put it online, um, but I, I don't know for sure. I'm going to darken that up a little bit. Feed money for Rel <laughs> Red Velvet 3 Eclectic Boogaloo. <laughs> Yes, uh, Hannah Soul. Joe said that she communicated with you about it. Is that correct? <clears throat> Yay! Thank you, John Overbay. We appreciate the support so, so, so much. Yeah, okay. Um, we are really trying to work with PayPal. It's, it's all the ISIS stuff that we're having to, to fix. But, you know, it should work out. Usually, like on my website, when I had the ISIS prints there, um, sometimes it would take a couple days. Rob, thank you so much for posting that to Facebook. So appreciate it. Okay, so more or less something kind of like that. So I'm just gonna save it. All right.
And then I actually have a color, it's set to color dodge, okay. I'm just going to make myself a Lady Death hair. Edit, fill. Color dodge at 13%. Okay. Normal. I'm going to set this to 100% really quickly. So this just gives her skin a little bit more luminosity. Okay, uh, are you guys using your, or did you have to transport the Divinica prints you have there? Either way, wait, we have major props to your warehouse crew. Oh, thank you so much. Um, okay, as far as my warehouse, no. the um, We're doing print to order for prints and comic books for Divinica so that everything is in perfect condition. Like um, there are some, some papers that scratch easily and can get their corners dinged. It really depends on the paper and we'd like to be able to do the metal prints and the hollow foil papers and stuff and they can get um, scratched or dinged um, sometimes. I'm not saying that happened to the warehouse, it's just the nature of some papers, they're extremely delicate. So we are printing to order. So we are doing those with the place that prints all the Divinica books that we have already. Um, <clears throat> so they're gonna make them for you and ship them out for you. Um, as far as the Kickstarter, that is going to my warehouse and it'll be fulfilled there. <clears throat> are there any plans for cons on the horizon? Yes, right now I ha I'm scheduled to be at Calgary Expo, hopefully Edmonton Expo, and I'm crossing my fingers as well for Fan Expo Canada. As far as going into the US, I have one show planned and that is Emerald City Comic Con right now, but I'm waiting for approval, so you have to wait. Oh, yay, thank you, Ed Hernandez. Mark, hello, hello. <clears throat> Steph, thank you. So, mm, all right, yellow glow. Let's turn that off for a few minutes. Yeah, so I like her skin having that overall luminosity to it so that really helps um i'm going to open up my later lady death empress hi james so this is my previous cover that i finished <laughs> I 
and I want to get the coloring you know that kind of luminosity on her skin and all of that stuff and I really like the hair here so the hair I went lighter and I'm going to do that right now so let's get the lady death hair and control click Change. let's try just lightening that up whoops wrong layer I'm just getting a few more shinier spots which I think really helps make hair look shiny obviously I'm still trying with Lady Death to give her hair, I don't know, like you want contrast in the hair, but then you also don't want it to look ridiculous, if that makes sense, you know? I don't like it to look overly contrasted. I think that would be the right way to, to word it. So I'm trying to always find that, that perfect balance, which is not particularly easy to do, honestly. I'm just getting a little bit more shadows in in a few places. Brian, happy anniversary to you and Francisca. 30 years, you guys are amazing. So much love to you both. And Brian, if in case you're still here, I haven't um I haven't drawn the other version yet, so that's why I'm doing this one and coloring it. I'm working ass backwards. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. So yeah, I want I want contrast in her hair, but not not to where it looks like her hair is a bunch of yarn or or kind of dirty and stringy you know so it needs to be soft but with enough contrast that there's depth and that can that can get a little um a little bit tricky for me anyway i uh i find every time i'm like okay how could i have done lady death's hair better here what did i do incorrectly what do i need to fix and so I'm, I'm really always trying to improve on last time, let's put it that way, to, to do my best to get her hair with the look I'm going for, I suppose. Jason, hello! Yes, we don't want Lady Death to have dirty stringy hair, at least not here, right? Here she is being the queen.
Thank you, Steph. Anthony, you joined us on Twitch. Yay! I do, Steph. I have uh, the trade. It's either in my dresser right there or I have another dresser on the other side of the room. I don't open the fancy books, um, but I do get the trades. <laughs> because I don't want to break the spine on the fancy books, if that makes sense. That's a good suggestion, Mark, and maybe I'll try that. The thing that happens sometimes when you have two grays together that are a different temperature from one another, let's say one is a warmer gray and the other one is a cool gray, what happens is they make each other look like an actual color. Like if you take the Copic marker warm gray and you put it next to the cool gray, one looks brown, the other one looks blue, and neither of them actually look gray. So that can get a little tricky with Lady Death. I have tried it other times before and it really makes whatever underlying undertone color you're trying to give it really stand out and it actually punches the color out more. And so when you're trying to make it subtle and look like a gray or, you know, in Lady Death's case, a white and, you know, varying shadows of white, it can really fuck with people's eyes. So that would be the only reason why I wouldn't do alternating or all opposing undertones. Yeah, see, but that's gonna make her skin look like it's, you know, brown and her hair look like it's blue so that's why i don't do that with because you you know i i'll think about it it's a good suggestion but that's why i generally make it all one tone Yes, that really wasn't uh, Joe's fault. She was reading Hanu Soul's comment. <laughs> so she didn't actually say that. <laughs> Joe's far more well behaved than I am.
zoom out a little bit. Save, save break. Oh yeah, you got her really, really good, Rob. <laughs> that was, that was impressive. <laughs> Hello, Terrence. Welcome to the stream. Ah, thank you. You know what? Philip Sherlock was, he ended up being fine by yesterday. We couldn't get an appointment as early as I was hoping we could. And by the time his appointment was rolling around, he was fine. So I called in and canceled his appointment. And we have a theory on what it was. So here, you know, and it happens in plenty of places in the world, um, we get a lot of smoke from forest fires that happen over in BC, in British Columbia. And so we are on the receiving end of a lot of smoke. And so we, um, for a few days last, well, for most of last week, it was like smoky haze. And it's hot, so we've been keeping the window open and our bedroom smelled like a campfire. And so I'm wondering if that might have been irritating Sherlock's eyes because then it rained and that cleared up all the smoke and within a day and a half, his eyes were fine. So yeah, he might be, he's very sensitive to, you know, anything. <laughs> I do wipe his eyes and tell him he's a very good boy, Mystery. You're not far off from that. He is still Chonk, yes. Hello, Unnamed Knight. Oh, Steph, Sherlock's eye was irritated. So it was, you know, a little sticky and weepy. And so we made an appointment with the vet, but by the time his appointment rolled around, he was fine. It was very smoky haze in Montana. Yeah, so probably from the same forest fires. Thank you, Mr. E, for putting that there. You're awesome. And Philip, thank you both. So, uh, Vienna, my daughter, and I started watching the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I'm such an idiot. I was asking you guys to, like, tell me how I should watch it and in what order, and so I'm telling Vienna this, and she's like, Mom, it's on Disney+. Plus. They have the order that you're supposed to watch it, and I'm like, well, now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Sherlock, the highest maintenance cat. Yeah, he's a little bit. When is, when, well, when is Sherlock not irritated? Brush me, pet me, spa me. True story, Hanusol. How's it going with getting your son ready for uni? Oh, you have two cats. That's awesome, Terrence. You might have said that last stream. What did you say last stream? Wait, I should have drop shadows. Oh, okay, I just haven't put them everywhere. Hello, William Tom. 
I do not believe that this is a legend tier. This one is a special exclusive for uh, Swornfest in 2022. Really excited about that. Uh, about Disney Plus having them sorted for you. Oh, you did? Well, now I feel like an idiot. Pretty much all set. He's pretty excited. Aw, oh, that's so great to hear. Pretty soon we're going to need to start getting Lore ready for his big trip back to school. And then in October starts the applications for Vienna, our next kid on their way to university. So applications open up in October for um, 2022, um, fall of 2022 students or whatever. So anyway, we're, we're going right back into it. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Hanu Soul. Yeah, no worries. First, watch Batman Begins, and then Dark Knight, then watch the first mate. Oh my god. <laughs> That's funny. Pizza and beer, that sounds great. The level of how much I'm not going to deserve my weekend ramen is really intense. I don't get any. I haven't worked out once this week. It's that bad. You vote for chrome, hollow foil, paper prints. Whoo, that'll be rough. That is some really expensive paper. But perhaps, yes, I'll talk with uh, J.P. Roth about it. No ramen feels bad. It really does. And, you know, I'm the only person making this rule for myself. I wish I hadn't because I do so love my ramen and you know when you're first starting out a workout program you're usually pretty you know enthusiastic about it and be like no no I'm going to make time yeah wh where is the fucking time right now I am so close to not meeting my deadline and so help me God I am going to meet my deadline That's true, Hanusol. Arting should count as working out, right? My God. <laughs> I'm working out. Well, I'm working out my hand and my brain, you know? <laughs> I'm the one that made the rule. I can also cancel the rule and be like, fuck it, I'm having ramen anyway. But then, you know, I'll know that I did that and I'll be pretty disappointed in myself. Oh, okay, thank you, Anthony. 
Devin, hello, hello. When did I just do an F-bomb? Excuse me, I did not. I contest this. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea, Mystery. <laughs> I know, Hanu Soul. I totally can, but then I'll know in my heart that I am totally cheating. <laughs> oh, I did just F-bomb? Well, shit, how was I supposed to know? I have no control over the words that are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> it is so much work, Philip. Shit. It's all about being proud of yourself, yes. And I would be so disappointed in myself, Jin. Like, the, I would just know. I would know that I was doing that. I would know that I was cheating. It, it just, I don't think it would be good for my psyche. Anyway, we made it through Captain America and Iron Man 1 today. We are cheating and not watching ones we don't want to watch. <laughs> you did! You missed it, Devin! No, the mystery put it there for you. Des Dicato! <laughs> talent and dirty talk. Yes, I'm here for you. <laughs> Thank you for saying that about the talent, though. Love it. Very kind. Really? You think so, Anthony? <laughs> no, see, I really like the Thor movies. Vienna does not want to watch Thor... Number, she only wants to watch Ragnarok again. Uh, I didn't really want to watch Captain Marvel, and neither of us particularly care about the Hulk. So we're thinking we're going to skip those. <laughs> you put it up for Devin. Rob, I'm sorry. I've never seen, uh, Dan was telling me yesterday, because we were discussing what order to watch them in and stuff, I've never seen Civil War. That's the one I've missed. <laughs> Jedi B, hello! Mr. E, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, we're going to be hanging in on her hair for a minute because hair is important. Civil War is pretty all right. Oh, good. That's one of the best. Okay. I, oh, you're sweet, Steph. <laughs> I will try not to feel bad. I feel like I kind of lose a little bit of my comic artist cred card when I um, admit shit like that. So yes, I will be watching it. Don't you worry. Yes, Kylie is still out there in the universe. <laughs> She's just really busy. Rihanna, hello! Welcome to the stream. How are you doing, love? I am, um, I'm so glad that you're able to hang out this time. And if you have any coloring questions, I will try my best to answer them. 
Uh, I'll be honest, I probably won't have an answer, but you know, I'll do my best. Minimal. I went minimal here and I like it. Oh, thank you, Rihanna. You can always make some shit up, Dawn. We'll back your answers. <laughs> Best group ever. I love you. You know, I play for keeps, that's very possible. I think though that it really depends, you know, opinion. We can put my about page as my opinion. Thank you for reading my bio though. That's really nice of you. Am I caught up? I think I'm caught up. Yay! All right. <laughs> Carrying on with this difficult part. You know what, Devin? That is a wonderful question and I'm not entirely sure. You could always try adding it to your cart and see. I know you can't lump coupons together because websites at this point, I haven't seen many that will allow you to do that. At least all of these e-com e websites. So um, try it and see. Now I feel like I want my color hold to be a little bit lighter. Patrick Wood, hello, thank you. Let's just lighten them up in a few little places. Hello, Sean. Welcome to the stream. I'm just trying to soften it up a little bit. And then, I don't know if I said this in the last live stream, perhaps I did. I'm really thinking to completely blur out the background, to do it in a few, a few levels so that, um, Lady Death really stands out from the kind of busy background that there is here. Um, <clears throat> and hopefully I can um, give it that depth and it should kind of calm down some of that detail that, you know, it's, it's nice that it's there, but it doesn't have to overpower and make the whole piece look busy, if that makes sense.
I was looking and seeing your KS printer digital. Did I miss the scraps or will there be? Oh, no, we are not printing anything from the Kickstarter until the Kickstarter is fulfilled. Like we're not gonna put anything from the Kickstarter on the Divinica website until we fulfill the Kickstarter and at least everything is in the mail on its way to you. I'm not gonna promise that like every single person has received their package, but at least we'll, we'll have fulfilled it, you know? So no, you didn't miss anything. You know, a digital image is one thing since you guys have your digital downloads, but we won't be printing or, you know, doing any physical media of the Kickstarter items until <laughs> you have your shit or it's on your way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Keenan. I know, I, I so know, Rob, it's killing me. Um, I've been waiting for this week. They said that they were sending me photos. So they sent me some photos, well, us, they sent us some photos of the printing. And they said in the next couple days, they're gonna go and see the binding. So they're starting to bind the books together. So I've been waiting for those next binding pictures to do a Kickstarter update. I have not gotten them yet, so I guess I'll give them till tomorrow. And if I don't get them this week, then I'll just do a Kickstarter update and show you some images that I do have from production. Yes. Exactly, Rob. That's what I plan to do, like a Gaussian blur on the whole background. So that, um, yeah, so that it looks like a professional photo shoot, you know, where you've got some someone standing and then the background's all kind of blurry. I think that that will look good. We'll have to see what Coffin Comics thinks about that, if they like the idea, but that's what I'm going to try. Yes, it's a Lady Death glamour shot. <laughs> okay, she's kind of slowly starting to come together. So maybe now um, I might start working on, I might start working on the candles and get those worked out. Usually I work back to front on covers. This time the back was honestly, I don't know. I, um, I'm almost feeling like this time I'm gonna work Lady Death first, so front to back, um, because I know the lighting. Really the foreground is going to affect the background more than the other way around. Whereas usually like the environment setting kind of like this one, the background really set the tone and set the lighting. And that's usually how I work. This time I'm kind of flipping it around. So, you know, we'll try it. Sorry, Donna, I prefer poster style. I don't wanna post my iPad up on the wall. Oh, I totally get that. <laughs> <laughs> you want what one? Which one do you want, mystery? And then the big fundamental question with this one is what color do I make her whole bejeweled situation? Do I have, no, that one is not out yet. The only reason why you guys can see it here is because uh, I got live streaming permission for that last one. I do not know when that one is coming out. I'm, I'm just color picking from it. But since I live stream it last time uh, and I got permission for it, I'm figuring it's okay. I need to color pick from my own shit. <laughs> that, this piece is not out. I don't know when it's coming out. 
That one will be a wait. <laughs> I prefer if I'm going to be mooching colors, I'll just mooch off of myself. Thank you. Well, generally I, I will try my best to get this one to that level of quality. All right, so I am looking. completely forgot what I was going to be looking for. I'm leaning red. So this was kind of my my lighting sketch. I don't know if you guys remember this, the lighting sketch that I had. Um, so something sort of like that. Is self-mooching art theft or plagiarism? <laughs> I have no idea. Is self-mooching a thing? Can we just call it that? Right, I wanted to look at a ruby stone. So you know what? I think I'm just going to get one. Ruby. I'm going to just get a polished ruby stone so that I can look at the image. Oh, interesting. There's certified natural raw rubies. Ah, okay. So there's raw rubies and then there's um, oh man, that is perfect. One second, everybody. Sorry. Just getting myself a couple rubies. The raw rubies are a little too pink looking to me. So that's kind of what I have in mind for the crown. That's going to be tricky to do, but I'm here for it. So it's like texture. See, I don't want them super polished, right? And then, um, wait, I had one more I wanted. And then there's actually like a polished ruby stone as well. So that's like a polished stone and these ones look a little more raw. So I'm going to, like this is raw stone up here and then in some places they'll be polished. Okay, let me see what Rob posted. Hold, please. I'm just going to Twitch so I don't have to copy the link. I can just, yeah, that's nice. So 
So yeah, that's what I'm going for. So I'm going to get like a darker, some darker areas. Let me look at it again. So some along the lines, it almost looks like they're glowing from the inside and that's a very bright, almost orangey red. And then, you know, it's just a matter of putting in that contrast. Okay. Ted, hello. Um, not a ton, Steph. I mean, if you have an idea for sure, you know, you can tell me, but I'm, you know, at the end of the day, this is sort of my job. So I, um, <laughs> I'm fine with suggestions. Backseat art directing though, which a lot of other Twitch streamers call it, can get a little, um, a little hard to deal with when you're trying to think through your process. So, you know, within reason, you can make some suggestions. Whether I take them or not, please don't be offended. At the end of the day, it's my job. Thank you, Ezetonian. Okay. I think I'm going to, this is going to look really freaky for a minute. Timeless Echo, hello and welcome. Long time no see. All right, so you guys know I can go on forever and pontificate on <laughs> my opinions on reds. I love these reds right here. Um, so this is definitely where I'm going and some of those reds in there make it almost look like it's on fire. And that is fantastic. The people in Coffin Comics seem nice. Oh, they're amazing, Jin. You know what? I'm just gonna swatch that. Ah, uh, no wonder. It is not CMYK. I know, it's such a great red. Okay, we're going to put the hardness up this way up. Okay, this is going to look scary to start with, but oh my god. We're going to get some really, really strong colors. I love how on those rubies, they look like they're, they look like they're um, almost glowing from the inside. That is so awesome. Right? You've got to love a good red. And this, this red has got a decent amount of like that Lady Death red tone to it. Now I'm going to probably to get that kind of look. So I literally just found this now in a, in a Google search. But oh yes, that is perfect. I really wasn't even sure if something like what I was drawing even existed. So I'm really happy to see that it does. No way, Ezetonian. I think you live in your town. Yay! Steph, I hope I didn't offend in any way. If you have a suggestion that you really would like to give or you just want to say it, absolutely. I'm not trying to say don't. Don't give suggestions. Don't have any ideas. That's that's not what I'm trying to say here. Um, I always feel kind of bad, like I need to explain if I don't take the idea. Um, and it can get a little overwhelming sometimes and I don't want to in any way seem pissy or not willing to hear ideas because people give me ideas all the time. It's just whether I take them or not is you know, I guess up to me at the end of the day. 
No, no offense. Okay, good. Love to you. <laughs> Probably because Ezetodian can hear my squeeze sounds. Oh, no. <laughs> called light reflection like a prismatic crystal light bends and makes yeah i just didn't know that they came in red that is so cool see you later stanley i'll be perfectly honest with you guys i definitely uh find stone coloring very difficult but you know, it just works so well for Lady Death that I feel like I can't be lazy and chicken out. So that's why I designed her outfit like this. Also, a lot of times I will design project like something into the work that I know I'm bad at to force myself to get better at it, especially if the, the piece calls for it. And I felt like this one just some crazy ass stones in her hair and everything would work so well. Do you eat jelly? Cause my mom makes black raspberry jelly. Would you, and would like me to send you some? Oh, that's so sweet. I do love jelly, but you know, I think shipping some jelly to Canada is gonna be really freaking expensive. I don't want you guys to have to do that. Yes. <laughs> um, yes, Philip, Dan and I cook this dinner because we, uh, we both run and haul ass. Actually, speaking of, I need to make sure to go downstairs. I'm going to go at 7.30, not, um, not my usual like 7.20 because my my meaty balls were getting a little too overdone. <laughs> it was it was mom and the over toasted meaty balls. <laughs> it's been it's been a little bit of a sad situation for the last few dinners with me and my burnt food. <laughs> <laughs> over toasted meaty balls yes it was it's 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 been rough Do you live in Calgary as a Tonian? <laughs> I just suggested or asked about top color matching the same bejeweled color, but more like a darker red. Yeah, and that is one of the colors I'm going to try, Steph. Um, uh, and then I have some other ideas as far as like possibly trying gold. Uh, maybe a mix of the two. The only reason why sometimes, okay, a darker red is a really, really good suggestion. I'm going to have to try it because the one problem is that her top on this one needs to be sheer. And when you take red and you make it sheer over pale white skin like this, it can start looking pink and that really kind of ruins the illusion of this particular piece. I have drawn Lady Death in hot pink outfits before and it's so fun and it works great with her. But on this one, it's more a uh, vampire-y, romantic kind of look. And I don't think pink would work. So that would be the only thing. I have not. <laughs> Uh, 
That's so awesome, Ezetonian. I do live in Calgary, used to go to comic conventions. So awesome. All right, I need to select these stones since apparently they weren't selected. All right, so the thing that's really gonna give these their contrast is once I start putting in the darker colors. That's, that's what we're gonna be moving on to next is getting in all the dark colors. And I almost, I do want it to have that sort of reflected, refracted light chips looking thing. You see how it's like little sparks in there? That's also what makes it look like it's glowing. So some are, you know, strong lines, confident chiseled bits, but then other parts you can see into the stone and it's catching the light in all the interior cracks. And that is really cool. So I'm gonna definitely put some texture into the other one. And we're gonna have to go way dark. So I did darken on her lips. I, I'm not 100% on her lips yet, but I did get some color on there. I hope so, Ezetonian. That's always the, the crossing our fingers and hoping that it looks good. Maybe a little bit lighter here. No, 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 we don't want that. I wanna kinda of differentiate between all of the stones. We're just gonna get a little bit of shadow going on there. There would be some shadow from her hand that. I will spend extra time on the crack. Absolutely. it a little bit bigger and softer brush. Let's get some more shadows going on in here. Quick save. Joe Wayne, hello, welcome to the stream. Hooray, Devin, thank you so much. How did the coupons work? Did that work out okay? Thank you so much, Devin. I hope it reaches you safely. All right, so we need a little bit more blood red going in there so that the other stuff can pop a little bit better. So I'm gonna get myself some blood red again. Hmm. 
Thank you, Timeless Echo. Much appreciated. The, the coupons yesterday worked great. Today, not so much. Whose fault would that be? <laughs> Nice fit. I know. I uh, I really splurged as a Townian on my Cintiq. 100%. I can't say it's necessarily all that fair, um, but I do so love it. Thank you, Devin, so much. Really appreciate it. Now I'm going back in with kind of more of a mid-tone red and then I'm going to need to go in with something even lighter than what I've been using as my kind of bright orange highlight color because the way I'm doing it is I've got light coming up in from the top but then there's also the side lights of the candles so you know there's cathedral you know kind of like by the pulpit part of a Catholic cathedral thing, they always have really good lighting right there, you know, and it's usually coming in from above and then there's all the candles and stuff. So that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. Um, I know my dad used to be an altar boy when he was a kid, so he would probably be so disappointed in me that I don't know any of the names of all these things, but I have no idea. So we're getting there. We're not there yet. Yeah, the fancy Catholic church lighting. Um, and my art note said, you know, nighttime cathedral situation. So, you know, I really want to give that nighttime look. Please ignore the background right now. The coloring of it is absolute horseshit. I'm going to fix it. And you see the lighting that's being emitted from these this ruby crown that she's got. And I might actually put little tiny like um, gold nuggets around at the base of it too. So I want to do that as well. But what I'm trying to say is that the light coming through, you know, if those were crystals or diamonds, they would make rainbow color basically on her hair. But... <clears throat> in this case, it would probably just reflect some red lighting around. So like that will happen here on the stones, here and here and all around. So right now I'm looking at my brushes. I'm sorry you guys can't see that. Wonder. So this is called breaking break glass. Let's see if I put it on like scattering or something. It is on scattering. Maybe if I make it small enough, maybe it'll look a little bit like shards and shatters inside. So let's give it a shot. It might look terrible. No, 
I don't like it. This is called crystalline. and trim above in the setting from the altar wands and candles. Nice! So then there's going to need to be some parts, especially at the top, that almost go to completely white because, you know, any uh, straight angles like that that are right facing the light would pretty much go um, white. So that will help it have a little bit more of that jeweled look. For French bread pizzas. Oh, that sounds delicious. So much love to you, Hannah Soul. Have a good evening. Nice. Okay, that is crystalline. I need to write this down so that I know what brush I used in case I want to keep it and use it for the whole thing. Crystalline. C R Y S T A L L I N E. Okay. I think that this color is working relatively well. There's like a stone shine.
I do not use smart objects, no. I think I've, I've tried them once or twice, but no, it's not something that I'm familiar with. See you later, Mark. You know what, what the fan art, if, um, is, is there like a tutorial that I could look, look at or something like that? Because I'm not going to be able to follow it here, I can assure you. I really appreciate you trying to write it up, but in all honesty, I'm not going to get it. Yeah, I'd probably Google it at the end of the show or something like that. Or before I'm going to go blur. Okay, so that is kind of what I'm thinking, more or less. Maybe I need a little bit more shadow, actually. Thank you, Timeless Echo. Pendragon, hello. Thank you, John. This time with the layer being a smart object, the blue is adjustable, just like layer effects, drop the shadow. Oh, cool. Thank you. I 
come on. Okay. For now, I'm not hating it. Very cool. Thank you, what the fan art. All right. Hello, welcome to the stream. Okay, let's see how these will look with some kind of glow on them. I'm gonna set the layer to screen. Color dodge. To try this over here actually. No, um, not Steve R. Different Steve. Maybe something like that so we have a little bit more glow on them. No need to apologize, Anthony. Now I'm trying out, basically pretending that light is coming through the stones and then it's casting light onto the, um, onto her hair, for instance. But I'm gonna delete all of that real quick. We just want it, I'll probably do a selection to make sure that you know, I'm not lightening the stones, I'm just lightening her hair, for instance. But yeah, like, so some places here in the, where I've got some stones back here, they would be glowing like so. And glowing over here. You know, we'll get all that kind of glow going on. And then of course here, it'll be casting glows onto you know her hip and onto her chest there. And uh, hopefully that will like tie the red in with her. And it doesn't look so strong like sticker, sticker, sticker. It should hopefully 
make it have a little bit more of a cohesive look. Fingers crossed. Uh, I have no idea, David Charles. Yes, I sketch first, I play for keeps. Okay, now I'm gonna put her clothes on as a layer on top of her skin so that I can have that saved. So I'm just gonna do a quick save right now. Thank you, Mr. E. Um, I play for keeps. Also, um, I do, I submit a couple ideas to the publisher and then they choose which one they like best or, in, and usually when I start the project, a lot of times they'll have some direction as far as what kind of concept they're going for, which issue this is going to be used in. Sometimes I'll know that and then that kind of tells me what, uh, what I should kind of work in as far as the ideas that I submit. So I have, I have a general idea of what they're looking for. And that of course makes coming up with the final draw much easier because you sort of, you know what lane you're staying in. I've never honestly been a artist that didn't work by, uh, I've been an illustrator my entire life, except for when I was a little kid and, you know, then I drew for fun. And of course, drawing and art is fun for me, but I can't remember the last time I actually just assigned myself something to draw because I felt like it. I, I literally can't think of the last time, which, you know, would sound like, oh man, you know, well, artists should be drawing sometimes when it isn't work. I'm a mom with three kids. Anybody who's going to give me that lecture is more than welcome to tell me where that time is and maybe, you know, fold 10 loads of laundry for me so I have that time. <laughs> Otherwise, it is what it is. <laughs> I opened it in the tab. I wasn't sure I got subscribed. Ooh, did you get, um, did you subscribe yesterday, Steve? Do you want me to check? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start coloring her outfit. So I do want sparklies. My whole red plan may make that difficult, but I might move, I might do two like gold and red together so that I can merge in um, other colors. Cause yeah, I want sparklies, but red is not a sparkly color. Christmas giveaway commission could fall into that category. True, but people choose what I'm drawing because it's a commission. Yes, absolutely, Juan. Oh my God, go do whatever it is you need to do. You're so sweet to even ask. I feel bad that you think you have to ask. I hope you're kidding. I may not have the same Divinica knowledge you and Devin do, but I do know who she is. Who, who? What are you talking about?
I think the the white highlights I think the white highlights help, right? They it makes it look a little bit more like a stone, less kind of like glowing candle wax, I don't know. That they work. And of course, I'm going to color hold the stones. Agrees on highlights. Okay. Much love to you, Juan. Good night. And lots of love to Katie. Go doodle or housework. Ah, uh, take care, Ezetonian. All right, clothes, moment of truth. Let's see how we're gonna do color-wise with her clothes. Because it needs to be sheer. Thank you, Ezetonian. Much, much love to you. All right, just for fun, we're gonna try out the red and then take the opacity down and just see, yeah, it kind of goes pink. We could try multiply. It's not very rich and punchy. So I think I might go for gold. We're just gonna skew gold and then use red for the stones and then the whole thing will tie in together uh, relatively decently. So we're gonna go over to gold now. Steal that color. Yeah, this is a little bit more of a greenish brown gold. I don't want that this time. We're gonna go back up normal. <laughs> I'm trying red. Now my date, your day is complete. No. So you know what? The gold works out much better for me, honestly. So um, I just need to actually select everything correctly. God damn it.
I mean, besides, okay, red and F bombs are how I know it's really you. <laughs> I mean, besides, oh, that's so sweet. And all the tibbles. <laughs> Thank you guys. Sorry, I've been like, Focusing trying to get this done and just missed a, tons of your comments. Okay, so I'm just gonna do shift F5 To fill this in and I missed the spot classic mm. All right, the intention is not to keep it this color. Don't worry. Um, for starters, it needs to be way, way lighter, I would say. Like that's just really aggressive. Um, so let's go control U, lightness. Kind of more like a soft champagne -y gold. I'm really in that mood lately. Set it to multiply, take the opacity down. So that it's picking up the shading I already did. She really saves time. So now she's shaded and we just need to add sparklies and gold shiny bits and you know, all that. Did you see my <laughs> last, oh my God. <laughs> Never be sorry, weird distraction, that one? Or then you were just saying goodbye to people. Oh my God. <laughs> so foolish. <laughs> I'm gonna hike the saturation a little bit more just so she's got a little bit more color to her. You guys are a fun distraction. I love it. I do know that you're a distraction and you're wonderful. All right, so I am, I'm gonna need to be really careful to not color, um, to not color her clothes on this piece. I should probably be super duper careful and save a version of Lady Death's skin. I'm gonna save a copy of it just in case and I'm gonna lock that layer, locked. So now I can't mess it up. <laughs> Cause that would be so bad if I like spent all this time and effort trying to get her clothes correct and trying to fix it all and make her skin work for both versions. And then I just paint in some lines that are not the same because um, for those of you who are not always around, I do two outfits and two color schemes. And so it's much easier for me to paint the skin as if there was no clothes on it so that I can use it in both places. It just saves a colossal amount of time. Hello, hello. So my intention with all these stones down here was not to individually color them. That was literally for the line art, for the person who owns the original. I'm gonna erase all of those stones and make this sparkly and bedazzly, but not by individually coloring all that shit. No, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna make myself another layer and it's gonna be gold. 
gold sparkles. Actually, I might even put them all the way over the line art so I don't even have to deal with the liner. Okay, I'm gonna set it to screen and I'm gonna set my brush to color dodge, which it already is, hooray. And let's see how this color does. I know I'm really not being very layer efficient this time. I will be the first to admit that to you guys. My efficiency has officially gone out to the window. <laughs> it's not great. This is, you know, definitely don't do as I do. I cannot uh, stress that enough. This is a disaster. Do not think that this is the way to do layers. But at the end of the day also, literally, you know, no one's gonna know how many layers the image was once it's published or once you print it or whatever, so then don't worry about it. Always much noodling. Yes, I can't seem to help myself. All right, now I want to do like a really chunky A really chunky, almost like gold particle brush. And I had a really good one and I can't remember what it was. A, a year ago, I was working on something and it was like such a good one. And now I just, I don't know what it was. And usually I write stuff like that down. Let's see if texture pop. You're in trouble now. I have a part-time job with the layer police. <laughs> What just happened to me? It's kind of a fun color, but I'm probably going to need to adjust what color it is. I mean, it's a fun brush, but I need to adjust the color perhaps.
know. Do we like the gold? Maybe we want red. I mean, not red, black. Oh, thank you, Matthias. Yeah, I agree, Rob. I'm thinking it might need to be a black outfit. Because once I started looking at it, it's just not, I don't know, she really needs to, sh to pop. Oh, thank you. Oven time for meaty balls. Thank you. <laughs> well, black is her standard outfit for sure. So I'm just going to have to make it look sheer. And um, I'll just hike up the contrast with that. Thank you, Timeless Echo. Well, I've put Lady Death in gold before, but you know what? You guys are right. I think, I think it might call for black this time. If you went with a gold outfit and black candlesticks, that might be cool. That is fascinating, Rob. Gold outfit, black candlesticks. Well, just any different color candlestick is a really good idea. So yes, I'm gonna give that some thought. I'm gonna give this a quick save. I'm gonna write BRB since I will BRB. And then I just need to go put food in the oven. I'll just put it on the swatches. That is not bright enough. I'm gonna go with like some hot purple. Okay, I'll be right back. I like where your guys' heads are at. We will think about it and try some things when I get home get home get back i just need to go turn on the oven put the meaty balls in the oven and i'll be right back <laughs> two minutes
I'm back. Hello, hello. Okay, let me see. Deep oxblood. Silver. No one has done silver with red candlesticks. Black outfit pewter candle holders. Pewter would definitely have the right feel, that's true. Digital does make it easier to experiment, absolutely. There's not that like stress and pressure. I love d traditionally painting, don't get me wrong you guys, but there is some freedom with the undo button and the change colors and the levels and the hue, <laughs> hue and saturation. I mean, it's just, it's a lot easier. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal a little bit of the Lady Death skin that I have. No, now that I've saved a skin, I can actually go into the skin here and adjust the levels a little bit. See, and I can make them, um, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm taking the levels and I'm making the darker parts darker and the lighter parts lighter, which makes her uh, n her black outfit look more like, um, it looks a little bit more like nylon, you know? That sheer cloth, as your body turns, it appears thicker on the sides and thinner in a strip where you're just seeing it straight on. You're not seeing the overlapping weave, if that makes sense. So this will help it look a little bit more um, like sheer cloth. See, that's how it was before and this is how it is now. So it's just getting a little bit more of that sheer cloth appearance. I'll probably take the opacity down a little bit more. No, actually I won't. I'll uh, just do that maybe. This, my friends, is going to be tedious AF to get all these red stones in there. But I think, I think it's worth making all the stones red because I don't really see myself changing it from red. I mean, I might, but I don't know. I think that the red, the red really works. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything and then create an actual um, saved selection of all the stones so I don't have to do this every single time because that will get super tedious. got to fix the flats there. There's something going wrong. What happened?
this is why I have a simple art style. Yeah, very wise. Okay, so I'm going to fill that with the foreground color. Yes, um, I'm going to need to fix the flats there, Devin. Um, so I have a small problem there that I'm going to have to fix, which is why I missed it. Okay, so those things are all going to be red. It's coming together. And then the, um, so I've got a mixture in strands here. I have like beaded strands and then I also have just some, some plain chain. And I plan for that to just be a uh, gold chain, I think. So I might even make all the shimmer on her outfit be gold as well. <clears throat> There is that in cloth sometimes, so I might try that. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Rob. Okay. I'm just going to steal the color from myself here. Hello, Olaf, Olaf Lopez, Olaf Lopez, there we go, <laughs> welcome to the stream. So my lines, I, I kind of was messy with my color holds. And so, yeah, my lines in some places are um, <clears throat> half black, half gray, not particularly clear, but um, I'll fix it, I promise. <laughs> kind of a mess. Before I send off my covers, I, I try, if I can, to like 
not send them in right when I'm finished, but wait a little bit. If I can afford to do that, and it's not like, oh my God, Dawn, we need to send this to the printers right away, um, I will try to hold on to it just to, to make sure I, uh, I didn't miss something um, because that does happen. And I hate having to write the publisher and be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I just caught a mistake in my work. Can I replace the file? <laughs> so I'm going to need to do drop shadows from every stone on these chains too. Otherwise, they look like a sticker. They don't look like they're sitting there on her body. So that's not going to be super exciting and I will do a connecting piece of chain you know I'll do some gold shine or something so that it it looks like it's an actual string oh thank you Olaf Thank you guys so much, Mr. E, Rob, for um, doing the Mubot commands. I appreciate it so much. Okay. I think it's kind of working a little bit. <laughs> it's very kind. I don't take it for granted, you guys. Thank you so much. So, um, 
even though I've got all this stuff selected, I would really like to try. Um, I do have one other idea. Um, Devin will probably know what this is called, or some of you will as well, I'm sure. But have you ever seen like a, a raw stone crystal cluster situation that has these little tiny specks? Like I, like I said, how it almost looks like, um, it almost looks a little bit like, um, yeah, a little nuggets of gold or something like that, but it's another type of metal. Um, and it's just like in little specks and it's kind of all around the base of these crystals. And so I, I would like to try something like that, you know, um, to hopefully just bring the gold in with the stones in a in a nice way, I guess. Yes, thank you, Pendra again. That's perfect. So I I know that it's fool's okay, I didn't know that it was fool's gold, but I knew that um it wasn't a precious metal. I'm gonna try to make it allude to that it's gold or something so that if I can so that it, it makes this look fancy. You know, she is supposed to look very queenly and, um, yeah, queenly, rich, that kind of thing. And so I don't want to ruin it because I'm choosing stuff that isn't very precious metal at all. Um, but I do really love the color of pyrite. Maybe I'm just, is that how you say it? Um, I like that color better than gold, personally. Beaded and stemmed at the base. Ooh, stemmed sounds fun. And is it like really, really cheap stuff? Like would I, would I not really be able to put it on Lady Death? Thank you, Pendragon. I'm so glad that you guys know what I was talking about. I love the look of it. It's just so pretty. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not a very fancy girl because to me, I way prefer that to, to actual gold. Thank you, Pendragon. I guess in some things, I do have very expensive taste when it comes to art supplies, but for most other things, not really. Lady Death is too fierce to worry about what other people think of what she wears. <laughs> he sure did. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's very sweet. That's true, Nikki. But I might have to make it look gold because her being in a fancy, expensive outfit situation was definitely part of my art notes. So if I go too cheap this time, like regularly, I would be like, yeah, fuck it. I love that. We're doing it. Um, this time I, I do need to make her look like she's wearing a pretty fancy, expensive outfit. So that's why I went with rubies instead of just, you know, your typical like crystal or something. Um, and on the main outfit, I'm going to go for diamonds on her dress, like a diamond encrusted dress, I suppose. Um, so I might have to make sure 
that the gold carries actual gold color. I don't know. Oh, that's true, Pendragon. <laughs> well, she'll have the whole dress in the other one, Rob. Here, it's just because she doesn't want to wear a dress anymore. She wants to be all naughty and shit. <laughs> oh, that's cool, Nikki. I'm going to um, erase some of these color holds that are really messing with my eyes. I think I've done a very bad job at coloring this particular cluster here and I'll probably fix it up once I see my lines I'm gonna I'm gonna realize how very badly I did <laughs> but I need to do some fierce pedal to the metal so that we can be wrapping up this cover and the other version by Sunday. So I'm going to be working all weekend for sure. Um, tomorrow I need to take one of my kids to the dentist, but then it is literally park my butt in seat. Vienna and I will just watch lots more Marvel Universe. She, It's so sweet. Like I have to stay at my desk, right? So we put the iPad beside me on the desk and we move the this seat over here to sit right next to me while I'm working and so she just cozies up under a blanket on that chair and we just put it right up against my desk and so we'll just sit together at my desk and while I'm working and watch the Marvel movies so it's really really fun it'll help me stay in my seat not get bored or overwhelmed and I will finish this project on time. So help me God. Yes, it is. It's a super fun weekend. Oh, that's so sweet, Nikki. I love that. All right, work in progress. Um, you know, I can't promise that it's going to be anything remotely like this by the next, by the time you see it next, but hopefully it'll be better and it'll be more worked out and, um, as nice as I can get it. I love you guys. Yes, it's dinner time and I have to run today. I like to try to raid, but today I need to hurry, hurry and get food in the, I mean, get food cooked and I left so many dishes from today. I cooked the kids lunch and I haven't done the dishes yet. So it's a bit of a mess in our kitchen. <laughs> so I better go handle all that. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for hanging out with me on this live stream and to everyone who has gotten something off of the Divinica launch sale. We appreciate you. We love you. We're so grateful. It's really going to help us keep going on Divinica and make it awesome for you. Thank you guys. Good night. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you on Sunday to hopefully finish this piece. <laughs>
I wish dishes cleaned themselves. NetJam Jr., thank you for being here. I love you guys. Good night. Take care. See you later.